what's up guys it's me Osama Gaza welcome to my channel and in today's video we're gonna be discussing how to create that sort of flickering light strobe effect in Adobe Premiere Pro we're not gonna be using any plugins or even Adobe After Effects we're gonna just accomplish the entire effect in Adobe Premiere Pro it's pretty much easier than what you expect I know it seems so fast everything just happening uh, at the same time but it's really easy and takes just one step but we just have to repeat it all right so let's get started and see how we can do this all right so um there are actually two ways to accomplish this effect guys uh one is by just using one clip or one video and apply the light strobe effect on this video or having two different videos and try to make them overlapping during the light strobe effects i'm gonna actually be doing both in the same time so because it's easy and I don't really want to uh, extend the time of this video so yeah let's get to it all right so first of all I'm gonna be dragging my second clip here and just make sure it's right on top of my first clip then I'm gonna make sure that uh, my cursor is right at the beginning of my clip all right then I'm gonna be using the arrow key on my keyboard to move the cursor all right, so I'm gonna be moving it one, and it depends, by the way, before we start this, it depends on how fast you want the effect to look like. For me, I really prefer to um, make it really fast. So I'm gonna be moving frame by frame. And all I need to do is just using the arrow key, as I mentioned before, and move the cursor one frame, then use the cut or the razor tool to make a cut, another frame, cut, third frame, cut, cut, cut so on and so forth until you have um, your video ready right then I'm gonna be deleting all these pieces in between so it's more like creating um, an interval between each part of these And here we go. So it's gonna look something like that. It's so fast and of course um, it took me like some time just to finish the entire track so here I'm just trying to show you the idea and how to apply the effect onto it. All right then what we can do is create an adjustment layer and drag it on top of my clips all right guys so now the fun part uh first of all i'm going to be searching for something called tint in my effects panel and drag it and drop it onto my adjustment layer all right and tint change the solid color of your clip to one single color as per you choose here in the map option and here i'm going to be choosing the red color this is pretty much the most common effect and i'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with that look uh from watching movies music videos and other videos on youtube and it's kind of overused honestly so we're gonna be actually searching for something else called invert and this is pretty much the funniest part because it lets you um, change and you know uh, play around with a lot of alternatives here so I'm gonna be changing that look to luminance and go back to my tint and reduce it a little bit something like 40 then go back to my invert effect and blend it with the original it's it, blend it with the original means um, controlling the intensity of your filter or your effect so I'm gonna be increasing that just a little bit and that's what I basically did as in um beginning of this video guys I kept playing a little bit around with these values until I got something cool all right guys uh, so these are the values that look fine to me so uh, you can copy that if you want and I kept the channel at luminance um, now let's see how it looks like all right so now we're gonna be doing the same thing we did with a second clip here creating cuts something like that then we're gonna be deleting this time we're gonna be deleting the opposite pieces right and 
and by doing so um, we're gonna be applying the invert and turn effect on the lower track only because nothing's gonna be here under these adjustment layers except for the lower track of course all right let's see that and it looks so nice already this is actually the, the beautiful thing about tent and invert guys now let's go back to uh, this one for example here and just highlight it uh, you can change this one for example to RGB all right then change this one to uh, red so it's only gonna be impacting the red color uh, in your video then change this one to light light or saturation it depends on how you like it and the good thing about it is it gives you a lot of options so try to capitalize on that and don't stick to just one thing so for instance you can create multiple uh, adjustment layers tag them on top of each other and apply the tan effect on one of them the invert effect on one of them keep playing and changing the uh, the pattern of your effect uh, right so that was pretty much everything about the uh, light strobe effect or the light flickering effect whatever you want to call it I really hope that you guys liked it and found it interesting please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to stay updated with my latest designs and videos and don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well yeah and of course don't forget to enjoy the World Cup awesome events my favorite I'm a big footballer or soccer like that's what people call it here so uh, yeah enjoy that uh, thank you guys so much for watching and see you next time